Hi there folks, and today's video is going to be all about Trade Skill Master. This is an add-on that is just come out of beta stages and is now available for everybody in its full working fashion. And oh my god is it good. It can create you vast amounts of gold, make your daily task much much quicker, much much easier, and ultimately much easier to hit that million gold cap that is now in place. Um, firstly, what is Trade Skill Master? Well, once you've gone to Curse, downloaded it, and downloaded it with all of its extra features. Um, this looks quite scary to start with, but trust me, it all makes sense in the long run. Um, Trade Skill Master is the minimum that you need, but I would recommend installing every single one of the extra little add-ons to it as well. All of these are available through Curse, and they all have very, very specific jobs to make your your life much much easier. Um, to start with folks I will show you the main sort of interface and we'll run through some of the basics that you need to know before you start heavily using Trade Skill Master. The main interface of it can be brought up on any single character you like once it loads. Really need to get myself a solid state hard drive. Um, the, the main interface can look quite scary, quite daunting to start with, but it's really not. Um, each little icon, probably to start with, you probably won't use half of this. But in the long term, when you work out exactly what every little icon does, it works very, very well. So, here we go, Trade Skill Master. Down the left hand side, you've got all the different craft crafting options that you've got available to you. So enchanting, inscription, jewel crafting, alchemy, blacksmithing, leatherworking, tailoring, engineering and cooking. I utilise most, probably 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Out of those 9 I probably use 7 on a regular basis. At some point I will. It's only really engineering and cooking that I don't use on a, on a very regular basis but as soon as I get it all worked out then I will do but so you've got all your crafting down the side you've got all down the bottom these are the extra modules um, accounting auction db item tracker destroying and warehousing for the moment folks ignore every single one of those um, i will do individual videos on each one of these to explain them in far far more detail um, but for now to learn the basics it's you can ignore these for now um, along with most of what you've got down the side here as well. These really won't kick into play too much yet, um, mainly because you've got to do some very basic things when you start with Trade Skill Master. Um, a lot of people think that they just jump into the game, install it, and boom, they're making thousands of gold instantly. Um, it's taken me quite a while to actually learn what the, the, the add-on can do and get it prepared so that it works efficiently. Um, one of the most important things I can say that you need to do is on a very, very regular basis is, well, I, I would say probably for a week before you actually start using Trade Skill Master to create anything, to post anything, or to buy anything, you need to be running scams. Um, so this is another interface that you get with Trade Skill Master once you click onto the auction house. You've got run scans. This here, the get all scan, is the one that you need to do, uh, honestly, as often as possible. I would, I try to do this at least two or three times a day. If I'm on a little bit in the morning before I go to work, I'll get it run once, maybe twice. Um, if you are playing the auction house and you're not in the middle of a raid, try and just get into the habit of every time you go into the auction house, quickly run it. It doesn't take very long to do. Um, this is vitally important. What this is doing is it's populating Trade Skill Master's database with all of the information on the warehouse, uh, it, on the auction house, sorry. So when you hover over an item, say Hypnotic Dust, for example, you can see you've got Auction DB market value. It's telling you the average price for this item. It's telling you the minimum buyout currently on the auction house. So you, you can see if any of it is going cheap at the moment and you can also see how many times it's seen this item now in the purpose of hypnotic dust it's seen it for 43,096 times that means that that market value is going to be relatively accurate if you've only run this once twice before you start going 
it's not going to have an accurate figure of what is going to be the true cost on the market of that item meaning that it can lead to disastrous things like you spending far too much on materials than you should do meaning that you create items that are never going to sell um, because they look cheap when actually they're not going to do anything um, so it's really really important folks to run these get all scans as often as you humanly can um, like I said I try and do it as often as possible now before we get too much into detail with all of this I'm going to split this video down into probably four main sections mainly because this is a very very big add-on it's very very powerful and I think for me to be able to cover everything it could take me quite a while so today I'm going to look at solely the creating of your items to post on the auction house now there's no point having an auction house if you've got nothing to post on there so what you need to do is start off by getting your professions up to well whichever level you want really 525 is, is the optimum to have I've got 525 in blacksmithing and enchanting on this character um, so I spend a lot of time on this character because these are both very very profitable professions I'm going to focus on blacksmithing today because it, it's 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 quite a simple one to set up and um, I mean enchanting was an absolute pain in the ass to set up to be honest so I, I won't cover that blacksmithing is quite easy so what you need to do is you need to load open your blacksmithing tab um, as default it won't look like this this is another add-on that I use called skillet I very rarely need to use this anymore because of trade skill master but it's still helpful so when you do open it you need to open trade skill master crafting and then you'll see you've got all the items here you've got all the different categories of the items that you can make all of the different armors any miscellaneous items all that sort of stuff now as default you will open these and they will be full with absolutely everything you can make now not everything that you can make with blacksmithing is going to be profitable you will probably only want to make select items on a regular basis so if we close back out of that and open up the main trade skill master interface to start with and what we want to do is we want to click on blacksmithing now if you've only got one level 85 character you probably only need to set up a couple of these two professions maybe and maybe cooking as well so it's going to be quite simple but I would I would suggest doing one at a time getting one right learn how to use it properly and then progress on to others now what you can do here is force rescan of profession what this does is it will look through and make sure that it has referenced every single item that you can create with that profession so if we force it it will open up skillet as you can see in the background there and it will have taken information of every single one of the items that's in there on what it can make you only really need to do that once now what you'll see is when you select each of the subcategories on the left hand side it will populate the screen with every single item that you can make within that category now of course as I said previously you don't actually want to make every single one of these because as you can see some of them actually cost you more gold to make than what they sell for on average on the auction house and some of them realistically don't even sell on the auction house uh, for example things like eternal belt buckle they still only cost around 97 gold to make on my server and have a higher market value of 107 but I know full well if I started crafting lots of these to only make nine gold on each one that I sell, I would probably only sell one a week. So it's really not profitable for me to even craft that item. Now, this is the information that Trade School Master cannot give you. It can give you a good guesstimate, but you need that little bit of time and experience within the market to work out what sells and what doesn't. That can only come with time. But if you follow my list, for, for blacksmithing these are the ones that make me good gold on a regular basis so in the item enhancements all I've done is I've ticked ebon steel belt buckle what you can do is disable all crafts to start with it will get rid of all the crap and then all you need to do is highlight the ones that you do actually want to make now what's quite helpful with different items is you want to consider how many of these items that you actually want to make so you click additional item settings and what you can do is you can override the default values now I believe the default value is three so it will make three of every item that you select 
but certainly on a very very expensive item you may not want to make three you may only make want to make one you may only want to make two in all fairness ebon steel belt bottle buckle in my opinion i want to be making at least five of these i always want to have at least five of these if not on this character on another character so i can have some posted on the auction house at all times with maybe a couple to spare on on quick selling days so i'm going to accept five as the maximum stock there um, you can have a minimum stock as well um, but I don't really use that all too often I'd say the minimum is one maximum is five that you want to have um, it will allow you to make more than that but it's not really too essential I'll play with these again in a little bit but what you can do is go through each of the different subcategories all the different chess pieces I mean you can see here a 359 bit of gear nowadays yeah six months ago it probably would have sold really nicely but at the moment it costs 3634 gold to make it and in all honesty a 359 item level wouldn't sell at that price you can get 397 and 378 eye level gear for if not less than that at the moment on the auction house so it's not profitable to make that item um, the only things I really tend to make a lot of with blacksmithing at the moment is the PvP gear. The PvP gear can be very profitable. Um, there's a lot of people that use this not only for PvP. Uh, you can actually cheat the system quite nicely with the PvP gear. If you've just hit level 85, jump into the auction house, buy yourself a load of the PvP gear, and you're going to get the item level required to go straight into Raid Finder. Um, Raid Finder is pretty much just free loot free end game loot um, it's a great thing to get an introduction to raids but I so hope Blizzard take it out because it's just killing stuff but realistically you go through each one of these select all the different items that you actually want to craft um, and what this will then do is only show those in your crafting list right once you once you've gone through all of these got all of them to sort of the, the selected as you want and with the correct amount uh, being made what you can do is close this down completely, open up the blacksmithing tab once again, and at the top of the bar you should have something that says open trade school after crafting. Crafting. Now, like I said, I use Skillet so the interface looks like this. The default one is much, much smaller and far less detailed, but you should still have this bar at the top. Once you open that, you get presented with trade skill master's crafting screen. Now, if I open all here, you'll see that no longer do I have every single blacksmithing pattern that is available to me. Um, I have only got visible the ones that I want to make on a regular basis. So this means that I'm not creating anything that I shouldn't do. I don't have to spend too much time filtering through anything. It's quick and efficient, which is ultimately what this add-on is for. Quick overview of what you've got here. You've got the item value, how much the auction market value for that item is and it will then in the next category show you the potential profit that you can make by crafting that item and selling it on the auction house now as you can see on my server at the moment the pvp gear creates an awful lot of profit hence why i like to make sure that i've got at least one of every single item on the auction house at any one point um, these are quite popular sellers um, because of the, the the cheat to get into the raid finder so I may very well sooner rather than later start making two maybe even three of these at any one point so then I don't have to keep on crafting as often but what I can do now um, oh actually just one thing to point out which is very helpful is this tab here uh, it will show you how many either you have got on the auction house in the first tab how many you have in your bags or on your person how many you've got in the bank and then how many you've got on uh, other characters. Now I use one character to post all of my auctions and so then it shows all the items that are on that alternative character. If I highlight over say Vicious Ornate Pirate and Belt you can see that Red or Dead has got one, he's got none in his bags, none in his bank but he's got one posted on the auction house. So that's showing me that I've got one there, there's one for sale, I don't need to craft anymore. But the benefit of this add-on is I don't need to know that. I have two buttons over here, restock queue and on hand queue. Now on hand queue is what I use most of the time 
because it's very quick, very simple, and it will literally only craft the items that I've got the materials for already in my bag. Now, I have, I've got mostly enchanting stuff in my bag at the moment because I've been doing a lot of work with that recently, but I do have a few elementium bars, a bit of pyrum. So if I click the on hand queue, you'll see that I've got enough materials to create one ebon steel belt buckle. It's worked out this because I have none on any other characters at the moment. I have none in my bags, but I need to make sure that I'm making at least three of these at a time. If I was to clear this queue and click restock queue, what this will do is it will then show you it will basically repopulate the list to the to the thresholds that you've set in place. So currently I've got it set so that I want to have at least three Ebon Steel belt buckles all times, either on the auction house selling or on my person or on another character. As I currently have none, it's added three to the list, but it's showing me that I actually need some more pyron bars to be able to create all three of these. Um, it's coloured blue because it means it will allow me to. Uh, it's got enough materials to make one, maybe two. Well, last we found out a minute ago, actually only just one. But it doesn't have all the materials to make all three. So what I can do now is I can click, click craft next. Oh, it requires anvil, of course. Uh, let's quickly move this out of the way. Good old technical hiccups. There should be an anvil around here somewhere. So either click on it or click craft next and it will work away, work away, boom, and there we go, Ebon Steel belt buckle crafted and it will now show me that it's still got two outstanding to make, there's two in this craft queue here, um, but it shows that I need, well in this scenario I need a total of eight pyron bars to make all of them, I've only got three in my bag so I need to get five more. If you are requiring items, don't delete them out this list yet because this list will then populate the uh, a separate part of the add-on to then help you buy all the materials that you need. Right then folks I think that was a nice little introduction to the basics on creating the items that you need. If required at a later date I might go into a little bit more detail about which ones are beneficial to create when using different professions. Blacksmithing I'll use as an example today because it's very quick, very simple and all of our PvP gear that's next to bugger all to make with it at the moment it's really the PvP gear where the profit comes from so what I'll do for you now is I'll leave you with that have a have a, another watch of that video, get the auction house database scanned on a regular basis like I said I would suggest doing it at least two, three times a day if you've got the possibility to, for, for about a week before you actually use this to craft anything because without the right information in its database it could do more harm than good but get that information there and you should be fine so folks next video I'll be going on to the basis of selling the items I will use this blacksmithing example throughout the entire video so it all collates between one video to another um, but for me folks that's Mantheus. See you later.